What's up you guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about Security Plus certification. Cool, so just to jump right into it, Security Plus, it's just a test that verifies that you can perform certain security aspects inside of an IT environment. So I'm just gonna talk about a few things in my experience in taking the test. So I wanna talk about um, why I took the test, uh, what I did to study and what materials I used and what score I got, obviously, because that's like one of the biggest questions that everybody asks. So first, why did I take the test? I would like to advise everybody to really do some research about why you want to take the test. Uh, maybe there's a job in your area that you're looking at getting that requires it, uh, your employer requires it, or you're just getting into the security realm of IT kind of like me and you just wanna get your foot in the door and help pursue a career in information technology security. So I'm actually in the Air Force and my job requires me to have Security Plus. So I finished you know, the whole boot camp thing and I got here to my school and all my instructors are like, all right, you gotta take this test and like 50, 60% of people fail the first time that they take it. So study, 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 it's really hard, blah, blah, blah. So just like really think about uh, why you want to take it and what it's going to do for you and your career and your personal path right now. But like I said, I'm in the Air Force and it's required for my job. And so the Air Force actually gives me a lot of materials, but I did also go and get some other materials to help me study for it. Um, but just kind of a word of caution, like everything that I say really worked for me. And I'll give some other examples of some of my friends that were with me. But really just know how you study and how you get the information into your brain. And I'm just gonna give you what I did and what some of my other friends did. So I actually have quite a few books. I had exam cram, if you're familiar with that. Um, but I lent it to a friend so that she could read it and exam cram was really good, so. So first book that I read was by Daryl Gibson. Um, Security Plus. I really liked this book. It really laid out the information in kind of a simple way and he would be like tell you what it is, how it worked, and he would give you an example of how it worked and then he would ask you some questions about it and for me that like really helped me understood like what's going on inside of the concept and everything and I would take like really detailed notes on what I read and that's what I did with this book. I read the whole thing. It took me like I don't know, like a month or so to read the whole book. The next book that I actually read was Exam Cram. And Exam Cram for me was like a little bit harder to understand because it just really just dives in to what everything means and like gives you a quick definition and maybe a small example of how it worked or a real situation and like move right on to the next thing. It was just like really quick paced for me and I was having a hard time understanding it and I feel like Daryl Gibson, um, I feel like the Security Plus book here like kind of takes you into in a really good order um, on how to learn things from like zero because I started from scratch. I have zero IT experience, nothing in security, nothing in fixing computers, whatever. But Daryl Gibson's book was pretty simple on the layout that it took but Exam Cram was like pretty complicated for me but if I hadn't have read Daryl Gibson before Exam Cram, I would have a really hard time. But if you like that kind of reading, like here it is, next, here it is, this is what it is, next, then that would be a great book for you. But if you have like no experience and you need it slower and you need examples, then I think Daryl Gibson would be pretty good. So after you read and get like a really solid foundation on the concepts of cybersecurity and IT and all that, you need to do some practice tests. Um, you really want to familiarize yourself with, you know, sitting in a chair and choosing from a multiple choice because once you get into the exam, um, you're going to be all nervous and you're going to get test anxiety and you don't want to do that. You don't want to waste your money. You don't want to waste your time. And so really just familiarize yourself with test questions. And so this, uh, this was by Cybex. So Cybex, a Wiley brand, I don't know. I don't know like where they came from or whatever, but they have a really good online testing um, little web app that is super great. I did that test app like at least twice 
and there's like a thousand plus questions on there. You can do it in exam mode where you just answer the question. It doesn't tell you if you get it right or wrong until after the set of questions. You can set how many questions you want to answer. It tells you how long you're taking so you can kind of gauge that, which is a really useful tool. But I did that and it worked out really well. Um, I feel like if you can start getting about 90% on like a 40 question little quiz on the Wiley, you'll do pretty good on the test. Uh, the test questions are pretty comparable to Wiley, which really helped me out. So basically what I did, I just read a couple books, got a good solid foundation, and just did a bunch of practice questions. Just really hammered them and really helped solidify the knowledge that I had and just keep practicing, keep practicing. But it took me a really long time to read those books and take notes on them. I had about two months to study and take the test. Um, while we're here in tech school in the Air Force, like we have other classes that were going on and I was just doing this on the side so that I could get ahead of the schedule. Like if that's not how you study and you don't wanna read, you know, two, three textbooks and take a bunch of notes on them, then you know, you don't have to. Again, like I said, just know how you study and how you get the information into your brain. Um, I had a buddy of mine, we were studying together, and he didn't even read one book. All he did was the practice questions. He just did practice after practice after practice. And, you know, he would get it wrong, and he'd read why you get it wrong, and read why the right answer was the right answer. And that was on the Wiley test, by the way. And that way, you know, was better for him. But for me, I couldn't just go right in to start taking tests because I'd just be purely guessing. And I didn't want to start memorizing what certain acronyms meant and stuff like that. I wanted to understand what they were and how they worked. And that's just how I work. And that's what he did. And I have a couple other friends that did a little bit of both. Didn't read an entire book. They would just read chapters they were struggling with, but continue to do practice tests. It just all depends on how you learn and what you want to, what you want to use. All right, just to wrap it up, um, there's a lot more material out there that you could use. I just use these books um, to read. There's probably more, there's probably better ones. This is just my opinion on what I did. Just make sure to hit those practice tests wherever you get them. Read some books, get that knowledge in your head, and just practice, practice, practice before you take that test. Um, oh, one quick thing, exam cram did give like a cram sheet at the front of their book. It's like a trifold thing that has like every topic and it's a good refresher like a couple days that you can study a couple days before the test and everything. So that's pretty good. Of course, I'll leave uh, links in the description for all the stuff that I use and everything. But the day that I took my test, I went into the computer lab. I sat down, they give you an hour and a half and it's about 75 to 80 questions. I finished and I had like 30 minutes left, so I had some time to go back and review, which was great. But after you finish, they'll print off this little packet for you and they give you your score. And I'm sure you can go online and um, pick it up. Go online and get your certificate, but I got an 803. I don't know if you can see it. Who knows, but I took it a couple weeks ago um it's out of 900 and you need at least the 750 to pass so i feel like i got a pretty good score for just having zero it experience and just reading a couple books and doing a bunch of practice tests so if i can do it you can definitely hit it so good luck guys